Hi, and welcome to Coding with Jesse. I'm Jesse Skinner, and today I'm going to add an Express web server to my project. So right now I'm just using Apache, which is installed locally, and I'm going to switch that to actually use Node.js. So uh, I'm going to do an npm install of Express and save that to my project. And give that a sec. OK, and now the next thing I'm going to do is switch over to my code. And uh, I'll close these, because I don't need them. And I'm going to make uh, an app.js, which will sort of be the starting point of my server. So rather than put that inside source, um, I'm going to actually just put that in the root directory. So it'll be the only JavaScript file in the root directory. And I'll just save that there. So it's going to pull in express, require express. And then I'm also going to create my app by calling express. And then I should be able to just say uh, app dot. I need to check the documentation because I don't have it memorized because I have never really done this before too much. Um, now I'm going to get over to the getting started and kind of see the most basic thing I need to do. Um, oh, it's the hello world. That's what I was looking at. OK, so I need to call app.listen and tell it what port I want it to run at. So I don't think I need this extra function. I'll just add app.listen and let's say 1234. And if that works, I should be able to go to localhost colon 1234 and see something. Oh, I have to actually start the app. So I'm going to run uh, node app. And it seems to not complain. So if I refresh. Well, I see something. It's not that useful, but it's definitely running on that port. So now I'm going to use the some middleware to tell it to load the static resources inside my source folder. So I'm going to kind of copy this and tweak it. So let's do that before we start listening to express.static, and I'm going to point it at source. And that's where my index.html file is. So if this works, I should see my static HTML when I refresh. Oh, I think I have to stop the server, start it again. And yeah, there's my static HTML. So I'm running this now off Node.js with the Express server. So the other thing I want to do is to create a configuration file, which I'll use instead of hard coding these port number, the port number and the folder in. I'm going to make a configuration file that'll be different for every. It'll be different on my computer. It'll be different on the web on the actual production web server. It can be different on your computer if you're following along at home. So what I'm going to do is create uh, an example configuration file here in the root. So config.example.js, and that is what I'm going to actually commit to Git. So in there, I'm going to do module.export equals and that's where I'll put in the port 1234 and the um, let's say static folder will be source so I'll save that and then what I'm going to do is also create config.js which will be my local copy but I'll just copy paste that so they'll be the same. So what I'm going to do is create a git ignore fo file and I'll tell it to ignore config.js so I can put passwords and different stuff into the config.js and I'm not going to commit that to the version control. So what you'll have to do to, to set this up is copy config.example.js and make your own local config.js. So uh, let's do that with the git ignore dot git ignore and I'll tell it I'm going to tell it to ignore config.js and while I'm at it uh, actually that's good enough for now so then in my app.js I'm going to pull in the config from require config just like that and then instead of express.static source I'll do express.static config.static folder and instead of app.listen with a number, I'll do config.port. All right. So that should pretty much do it. Uh, let's stop the server, start it again, and see if that works. 
Uh, yeah, it's all the same. So let's try changing my config file, my configuration to 4321. Uh, stop the server, start it again. So it should not work. And then if I change it to 4321, now it's working. So there we go. And what else? Uh, I guess that's pretty much it. So this config file will have a lot more to come once I start working with the database and all that kind of stuff. And uh, yeah, so that'll be the, pretty much the next steps is setting up a database, uh, setting up some rendering of that data. Uh, I need an administration area for to create posts for the site. And uh, yeah, lots more to come. So thanks for watching.